in the series of class under the plantation group plantation group we have seen earlier the tea plantation now we are going to read about the coffee plantation coffee in the background it at as it has been given these are the coffee beans and coffee is the second most important beverage crop of india next only to tea after tea it is the second most important beverage crops in fact it is indigenous to ethiopia ethiopia can you recall the map of ethiopia where it is it is in africa let me show you this one is a land locked country ethiopia and here is the somalia kenya uganda sudan and the coffee is in, was indigenous to ethiopia from here it was taken to arabia from here it was taken to arabia in 11th century 11th century for a quite long time the coffee beans was not being exported anywhere from the saudi arabia and from this portion they were always exporting it in the baked condition or in the fried condition uh, the beans were being exported to the places i mean they were being sent to the places but Uh, the credit for this one for bringing coffee to india it goes to uh, baba budan baba budan was a sufi saint he was a sufi saint when he visited makka sufi baba budan he, when he visited makka from there he brought seven beans of coffee seven beans seven is an auspicious figure in islam so he brought seven beans of coffee seeds from there and um, he pla- in 17th century in 17th century uh, earlier it was not being exported so now the seeds have come and he planted them in the courtyard of the chik maglur and the in the on the hills and that hill is at present known as the baba budan hills this is the chik maglur hills you just see here these are the hills are there in the hills the chik maglur the baba budan hills are there later on the britishers they took much keen interest in the coffee plantations and large coffee estates were established near chikmagalur and other uh, i mean districts also of karnataka karnataka tops the list and followed by the kerala karnataka almost 80% of the coffee is coming from karnataka only regarding the conditions of growth as we have seen here that it requires a hot and humid climate hot and humid but not much hot if it goes above 30 degree centigrade then it is harmful it varies between the 15 degree to 28 degree centigrade and the rainfall humid means rainfall is 150 to 250 cm of the rainfall it does not tolerate the frost snowfall high temperature above 30 degree centigrade even the uh, strong uh, sunshine is not required that's why it is being grown mainly on the eastern slope of the hills or in the northern slope because very not northern because not much uh, s- strong sunshine is required on northern slope there is less sunshine so p- prolonged drought is also injurious to crop eh? dry weather is necessary at the time of the ripening of the berries the berries are there the dry winds are required and it usually grows at an uh, elevation of 600 to 1600 meters above sea level well drained rich friable loam containing good deal of humus and minerals like iron and calcium are ideal for coffee plantation as we have seen that the loamy soils are always good the good humus in on the uh, rocks this one on the slopes the good humus is always there the soil should be must be manured to retain and replenish the fertility the coffee plantation requires much more cheap and skilled labor from the various op- for various operations like they require so many operations including that um, sowing transplanting pruning plucking drying grading packing of coffee all this they require so 2.5 million 25 lakh people are employed million people in the coffee plantation groups regarding its production and distribution india is the seventh largest producer of coffee in the world first is the brazil 
Brazil contributes almost uh, 25% of the coffee and followed with the Colombia. Colombia, if you find that it is almost 15%. Indonesia is also there. Indonesia, it is 7%. Vietnam is also there somewhere coming in between. The Brazil, Vietnam, Colombia, Indonesia. Ethiopia, I have told. Ethiopia is the, I mean, the, from here the copy has been exported. But Brazil has taken the lead. Ethiopia, Mexico is also there. And after that, Ethiopia is there. Mexico is there. Mexico is there. Uh, India is definitely is a significant, but it is only 3.5 percent of the world coffee. Almost similar, um, uh, I mean, acreage of the uh, similar area of the land is also being engaged in the coffee productions. Thus, India is not that significant producer of coffee. But one thing is there: if you consider that in in India, what is the distribution? Then we are finding that Karnataka is very important. Karnataka, I have told you that almost more than 70 to 80 percent of the production of coffee is coming from Karnataka, followed by the Kerala, some part of the Tamil Nadu also, but Karnataka tops the list. Regarding its trading pattern, if you understand that what type of the trade is there, we export trade, we export coffee. Reason is that our coffee quality is very good. Coffee are of two types, one is the coffee Arabica. Arabica, A R A Arabica, and another is the coffee ro robusta, R O B U S T A. Coffee robusta, that is important. That coffee Arabica and coffee robusta, these are the two main varieties of the coffee growing in India, accounting almost similar, 49 or 50 percent of both, both are 50 percent almost. So, coffee has made significant uh, contribution of Indian economy by means of the export. Although India contributes only a small percent of the world production, Indian coffee has created a niche for itself for its international market, particularly this Indian Robusta. Indian Robusta is known for its flavor, for its blend. Coffee is when you are using the coffee, it is the high blending quality. Blending quality means when it is mixing with somebody, the blending is being done. That quality, for that thing, coffee Robusta of India is very popular, very famous. Uh, Arabic coffee is also well received in the international market. In short, Indian coffee is well known for its quality. Therefore, India exports coffee to large number of countries. The countries are Russia, UK, USA, Russia, Australia, uh, Iraq and a large number of countries of the continental Europe. Basically, coffee are being exported mainly from the Chennai, Bangalore, Kaji Kod. These are the chief ports for the export of coffee. Now, if we see that the regarding the production, that how much uh, coffee, the highest production is coming from Karnataka area. And in India, if you consider that it is almost point uh, four million hectare of the land is being engaged, and uh, the production is almost eight hundred kg per hectare. So these are the things. So why I am going though that much in detail? Because it sometimes it so happens they do ask questions that four statements are being given and which one is uh, not correct. In that circumstances, your entire concept related to one aspect has to be clear. Unfortunately, at some of the places they go not much in detail. For this thing, I am just referring you recommendation that you please go through the DR Fuller book. DR Kuller, Comprehensive Geography of India, Kuller, and there you will get a good account of this agriculture chapter as a whole.